Um, I think uh, I think my work actually as a musician in New Orleans is what ironically kind of what led to me being interested in this because the orchestra in New Orleans has been a cooperative for several years. In other words, the players are involved in the governing of the orchestra uh, in New Orleans, but also the operations. So I think you know get, being involved as a musician there but also being involved in the running of the organization kind of started me thinking about the larger issues not only for that orchestra in particular but for other orchestras and um, so I think that that work for me uh, I was playing obviously simultaneous to you know working on the executive committee and at the orchestra there got me interested and then I, I really just as chance would have it I went to the Breckenridge uh, Music Festival in Colorado and, uh, and it really was kind of on a lark more than anything but it, it, it gave me yet another opportunity to see what was happening. I worked as a music librarian the first summer there and then they asked me to come back a subsequent summer uh, to be the production manager for the festival which was really nice. I was really glad to have the opportunity and so Really, without a whole lot of direct experience, I took on you know the production, all the production for a summer festival, which was a little bit intimidating at first. But there's no better way in this business to learn than just rolling up your sleeves and getting in there. So I did that. I was still a member of the orchestra in New Orleans, uh, but then I really, at that point, then I was really thinking, wow, this may be something I really am interested in doing more long term and and as a full time career in place of playing and I had some people like Carol Winsens, the flute player and uh, a few other people who were really helpful in encouraging me on that front. So that's, you know, that's the, that's my theme is that, that I've had great people along the way who've helped me and encouraged me. So really from that point then I knew that I wanted to make some sort of change professionally. And um, as again, you know, luck plays a lot. Uh, 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 luck plays a big role, I think, in everybody's life, but in mine. And um, I was here in Houston visiting for a week, and knew that you know the Houston Symphony was a great orchestra. And kind of just walked in the door one day and said, you know, do you think you might have something for somebody like me? And they said, well, yes, we would. <laughs> So um, I was still playing in New Orleans at the time. They offered me a job here to come on the artistic staff, and I, I took it. I, th I thought this was the right chance for me. And then really from there, I've just taken advantage of every opportunity I could to learn more about the business and get the experience that I, I could. And, and, and I've you know, had a lot of great opportunities here in Houston. Well, I mean, I was lucky in that being GM for a couple of years here helped me understand a couple of things. It helped me really understand where the orchestra was because the GM is in many ways the, 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 the person who interacts the most with the players on a regular basis. And um, both from a product, concert production standpoint and from a contract standpoint. And you really, you, you want to have and need to have a really close relationship and a close dialogue with the players. You need to know where they are on different issues and um, how they're feeling about things, both good and, and not so good sometimes. Uh, so I think that helped me understand them, but it also gave me a different, it, was, it allowed me to sort of see the larger organization, um, but, but not to be right, necessarily right in the middle of it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it allows you to look at the board and the larger financial issues um, because the executive director and board leadership are ultimately responsible for those things. So it gives you some perspective. Um, certainly here, I felt more comfortable taking on this role because I had been in-house. I had relationships with people in the orchestra, obviously with people on staff, and, and I'd had a growing relationship with people on our board. So I felt that coming from the inside, actually at this point in Houston was actually optimal. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's much easier to ascend to a, the, the leadership position um, coming from outside. I mean, I think you see this in a lot of organizations where sometimes to move to that next level, you actually have to go somewhere else. And I felt very fortunate on a couple of fronts that I could make that jump here. Um, and I also had, of course, the real advantage of knowing what I was getting myself into, for lack of a better description.